What's up, everybody? Once again, my name is Matt. It's February 11th, 2017, and welcome back to The Bit. We've got some interesting stories to talk about this week, so let's jump right into it, shall we? Our first story is about the largest event in gaming. That's right, E3. Earlier this week, the Entertainment Software Association, the company that organizes E3, announced that this year in 2017, they will be opening the doors to the general public. Tickets for the public will be limited, in fact, they're only selling about 1,500 of them, but if you're interested, tickets do go on sale starting on February 13th for $150. Now, keep in mind the $150 ticket price is the early bird special. Now, no details on what exactly constitutes an early bird ticket price were given, but if you missed that, the ticket price does jump up to $250. Now keep in mind these ticket prices do not include admission to the press conferences for the larger companies like Microsoft or Sony, because those are invite only. And honestly guys, I have mixed feelings about this one, as some of you may know I got the chance to attend E3 last year. And I'm not sure how to say this without sounding elitist, but I did have more fun at that one E3 event than any other gaming convention that I've been to. And that's coming from someone who's been to at least one PAX convention every single year since 2012. So I have my fair share of con experience. And I think one of the biggest reasons why I enjoyed E3 a little bit more was the difference in the crowd. Everyone at E3 had something to do with the gaming industry and 90% of the people there were there to do some sort of work. Sure, it was still heavily crowded and the lines were long, but the entire atmosphere was just different. Now I will give you a fair warning, people romanticize E3 a lot, it's certainly a lot different than what you might imagine. I was woefully underprepared for my first E3. I made the mistake of just going in without making any appointments with companies or developers to check out games and thus, I was forced to wait in the general queue lines for up to 6 hours to try out a 20 minute demo. I imagine it's going to be a similar story for those of the general public at this year's E3. Now if it seems like I'm talking down E3, I promise you I'm not doing it intentionally. I think E3 is great and to attend was a dream come true for me. So I'll say this, if you've dreamed of going to E3 for a while now, then yes, this is your opportunity to go and experience it. And it is something worth experiencing at least once. I just wanted to make sure you understand exactly what you're getting into. Next up, if you're in the market for a new PS4, I've got some good news for you. For a limited time this month, Sony is dropping the price on select PS4 bundles. Both the Uncharted 4 and Call of Duty Infinite Warfare bundle prices have been cut to just $250. This special pricing is for a limited time only, so you have from February 12th to the 25th to take advantage of this price cut. And oh, geez, I feel like a salesman now, but I promise you I'm not. I actually did find this interesting because, as some of you may know, I'm a pretty big supporter of the PS4 this generation despite the fact that I don't own one yet. It's also a pretty smart move from Sony because this does undercut the Nintendo Switch by $50 before it even releases. And this does arguably give you more value for your money. I'm not gonna lie, if I didn't already pre-order a Nintendo Switch, I probably would have taken advantage of this deal myself. Next up, let's talk about Game Informer. Game Informer recently got the chance to play hours and hours of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And they even interviewed both Shigeru Miyamoto and Eiji Aonuma about the game. They're releasing this content online over the next few weeks up until the release of the game. And I gotta say, Game Informer really stepped up their game, no pun intended. So far the coverage they've done has been fantastic and I can't recommend it enough. I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can check it out, along with all the other stories that I've talked about in this video. Now I will warn you the link is safe, but some of the content you can access from that page might be considered spoilers by some, so consider this your fair warning. Just use your own digression and you should be able to avoid the topics that you don't want to be spoiled on while still enjoying at least some of the content that Game Informer has to offer. Or, you know, you can just wait a little bit and I'll probably make videos of it on this channel anyways because I can't help myself. And last but not least, we got a Japanese character overview trailer for Nintendo's new IP, ARMS. ARMS is a fighting game releasing on the Nintendo Switch later this year and I actually got a chance to play it at the Nintendo Switch preview tour in New York City. The trailer just shows me that not playing the tutorial was a bad idea since the characters have way more moves and special abilities that I unfortunately didn't know about when I was playing the game. Now the trailer is in Japanese so I really have no idea what exactly they're talking about but it is interesting to watch nonetheless. I will say this though, I'm looking forward to ARMS a lot. It was a ton of fun to play and the fact that motion controls are optional is a huge plus in my book. 
And I gotta say, I love the character design and the colors. Everything just pops and it's very pleasant to look at. I have high hopes for ARM, so I really hope it doesn't turn out to be another Pokémon tournament and people forget about it within just a couple of weeks. Anyway, that's where I'm gonna end off this episode of The Bit. Remember, if you want me to talk about a specific store, you can reach out to me on Twitter or use hashtag the bit in your tweet. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. If you want to see more of my stuff, consider subscribing. But once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.